There it is, baby. Forget about it in all her freaking glory. Oof. Uh, it's done. I mean, it's done. Da done. Da done. Look at this baby. Free fan rag. Cooling. Real nice. There's my mayhems. And then the actual temperatures. Are you ready? At super overclock and it's stress testing right now. And check it out. Here are my current settings as you can see. Check it out. At 22 degrees Celsius. Oof, forget about it. Now, of course, being that's being radiator cooled, it's only going to go as cool as my ambient temperature. And my current ambient temperature is about like 72 degrees here. But, you know, I got a three fan rad going down from here to here. Um, also, I got a three fan rad up over here on the top of here, as you can see. Okay. And I got all natural fans. Let me turn this a little bit. And they're all running at 3,000 RPMs. Well, not currently, but you know, I got it pretty much midway. Plus, I got a D5 pump. Um, and I'm using an actual uh, mounting bracket from EK. Okay. And what I did was um, for the reservoir, it actually, I picked up 250. Um, milliliter size okay which is a little bit smaller um, and then I bought this other reservoir from EK the larger one and I just replaced the two that that's all what I did I actually just replaced the actual two now from what you can see here I'm running two lines up on the top okay this is all hard glass fitting uh, brasilic glass that that's that's what I'm actually using right now now my whole intention was to have another 90 degree glass pipe from my video card all the way up to my processor, but I didn't have um, the right fittings um, to actually to make it work. So I ordered some fittings from Performance PCs. I'm waiting for it to get here, and for me to, you know, then I'll probably be able to do that bend as far as like, uh, well, not a bend. It's like a 90 degree glass that comes with because you can't bend this glass. You need like over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit in order to bend it. So this isn't acrylic. This isn't. Uh, PG tube or anything. This is actual glass. Yes, baby. Forget about it. So I got another natural fan over here, okay, which is the 140 size. These are all 120s. Okay, I got three there, and I got another three uh, from here all the way down there, as you can see. Okay, I mounted the hard drive. I got um, two terabyte drive on the bottom cage, and I got my SSD right there mounted right there in the, on the backside panels you can actually see okay which came out really really slick now I totally like modded this case now this is a half 932 case um, I'm still waiting for my glass uh, my tempered glass to arrive so I can mount it right here on this side panel so this is all gonna be completely like a window complete glass okay as far as my side panel so I can't wait for that to arrive right now and I already put in the um, case labs, uh, not case, uh, case mods, I'm sorry, case mods lighting. So that's uh, that's on the case right now, which is really, really freaking awesome. Forget about it, I tell you. I mean, I am just totally wicked with the actual, you know, um, choices and the features that it actually has. I mean, I can just, you know, keep selecting different colors or it'll actually keep changing on its own, which is pretty, pretty cool. You know, I can have it as a flash, I can have it pulsating and stuff, I can have it as a smooth, you know, that'll just eventually change. But, getting back to the case, I actually had a mod the case, like I mentioned before. Um, actually, the, the the optical drive bays, as you can see up here, uh, they would actually come down to here. I had to slice it in half, as you can see, I cut it in half. I actually repainted the actual um, uh, connectors as far as for my optical drives. And I'm actually just running as far as my fan control on the top. Um, I have, this is a blank space in here. Um, I may use it for something else. Uh, but at the present time, it's completely blank. Um, and I pretty much like tied up all the wiring, as you can actually see. And it's all pretty much sleeved and stuff. Um, I kept it pretty, pretty clean as possible. Um, I'll show you the, the other side. 
Let me just turn it around. Uh, it's turning, it's turning, it's turning. Arrgh. Let's turn it some more. Okay, so let's give you a better look on this side. So as you can see, so here's my wire, the main one. Okay, this is one. This one's coming from the pro, uh, the CPU side of the board, uh, coming out, dangling all the way down directly towards the power supply. I pretty much um, tied it up, and I actually have all the uh, fan wiring uh, right on the top over here, right underneath, actually. So you can't actually even see it at all. In fact, this is all oh, balls. Why the fuck did he do that for? He actually left a piece of tape right on top of my why would he do that eh let's remove it there we go let's remove it all right i don't know why that was there but anyway so this is pretty much how it looks from this end see that so i'm still going to be working a little bit on this side i'm going to see if i can tidy up a little bit more of these uh actual wires over here but as you can see i pretty much gave it a pretty clear shot I actually removed this panel. There was there was an actual panel in this whole end. I actually deriveted and removed. Um, there was no need for it. I didn't I didn't see a need for it. So this is pretty much how she looks from this end. Okie dokie. I'll do a video later on once I get the uh, tempered glass and stuff. But for now, I mean, I am just totally totally stoked with the temperatures that I'm actually getting right now. I mean, it's just freaking amazing totally totally amazing you know um freaking freaking amazing so with that i'll let you guys go live for baby and forget about it